Pat and AJ Post Show video here with me. It's 21st of March. It's a Tuesday. It's the second day of spring. And it's a brand new episode of Who's Hating? We used to do this a lot more. <laughs> we don't that much. Apparently we, people are toning down the hate a little bit. Turning down the main. <laughs> well, well, they're they're toning down the hate on us. It's, it's blowing yeah. up everywhere else. But every now and then, a hater slips through. You may notice that I call AJ's... Uh, group of girlfriends on air, the hens. The clucking hens. Clucking hens. In which I then cluck. You cluck. <laughs> like a chicken. <laughs> I actually got this name from my mom and her friends. Growing up, my mom had this group of friends, about five or six of them, that she had known since high school. And growing up, they had hen parties. Yeah, a hen party. Isn't that, I'm pretty sure that's what they call like a bachelorette party in England is a hen party. Yeah, yes. But but these were like, they called their get togethers hen parties. And I remember it because it was like the only time my mom ever like left the house is like twice a year for, for, these, hen for these hen parties. So it became natural when, when, when AJ, you know, kind of clicked of, uh, up. I would have four four of us, five of us, five, <laughs> five, five of us. Um, we text all day long. Yeah. Uh, three of them are in Wisconsin, one's in Washington, and I'm in Michigan. So they so are the clucking hens. They're the clucking hens. And somebody on the Facebook page this morning told Pat to knock it off, saying yeah. that calling us hens is sexist and demeaning to women. Thinks I'm sexist. Look, Pat is a lot of things. Some things I can't say here. <laughs> He's a lot of things. I've known him for a long time. Yeah, yeah, We're married. Yeah. Sexist is not one of them. I'm the biggest feminist you'll ever meet. In fact, I was raised by a bunch of women. He was raised by yeah. women. I mean, like, I asked him to go to the store for me to get tampons a couple weeks ago, and I was afraid to ask him because I thought he'd pull the man card up. Oh, no! <laughs> and he's like, okay, what do you need? Like, he is the least sexist Which is person funny I know. because I got the tampons no problem. Then I talked about it on the radio, and literally a guy went insane on us because he said men shouldn't have to talk about tampons. He he stalked Pat for he weeks yeah. because Pat said that he bought tampons that men shouldn't. Regardless, Pat is the least sexist but person. But we are. I know. But but I will tell you what though. I think are we it, just that hypersensitive now? No no no. Not even that. I think we're just hyper, especially online. We're hyper wound up. We're yeah. we're waiting for something to hit. The button so we can yeah. pow, and, and like come at you yeah and sometimes i think something like this can be the trigger and you're like that's it i'm going all in um and who knows like if i would have followed up the hens with they need to be uh peeling potatoes barefoot in the kitchen well, that's he, sexist that's sexist but yeah. me just calling them the hens now i will say though i've tried to catch myself in this um like i have a big habit you may notice also on the air i say uh uh, uh darling a lot yeah. or dear um, like if we're talking to a female caller, and some women do find that sexist, and and I yeah. get that because you may not want to be called yeah. an affectionate name like that by somebody you don't know. I was told by Amy Bombshell Burke, our afternoon DJ, who's the biggest feminist I know. Yeah. Um, she and I asked her. I said, "Now hold on, if I called you like dear, like if I ended the phone call, like oh, oh okay, thanks, dear, would you get upset?" And she said, "It's all about tone." It's tone. And familiarity. Because somebody called, she's walking by yeah, right now. She is. Somebody called her sweetie, a guy yeah. called her sweetie on and, the phone and she, she in a very it. demeaning way, and she lost it, rightfully so. So, if warranted, you should lose it too. But if not warranted, make sure not to make an enemy out of a cuddly friend like me. He is a big, soft, cuddly teddy bear. I even texted the hens. I said, oh no, somebody said that it's sexist. And they said, but but we call ourselves there the we hens. Go. We're hens. They're hens. <laughs> And I'm just a rooster in the hen house. You are the big rooster. <laughs> Click on that button below if you want to subscribe to the Cars 108 YouTube channel. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.